What's up guys? So today's actually gonna be a pretty big day. It's exciting, I'm a little nervous, and the reason I'm nervous is I'm gonna go fly into the most busy airspace I've ever flown into just outside of San Francisco, and I also have pretty high forecasted winds on the flight home, but the reason I'm excited is the guys over at Archer invited me down to their HQ to go check out their prototype aircraft, which is what they're gonna be officially launching June 10th, so next week. But basically it's an electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft that carries two people. It's supposed to be able to take pretty much anyone on adventures and supposedly like the technology is all there. Like we are closer than we think to actually being able to just call an aircraft to come pick us up and fly us somewhere. So anyway, let's get loaded up. We're flying to Palo Alto. Reno Stead Airport. Automated weather observation, one, three, five, five, Zulu. Wind, calm, visibility, more than one, zero. The traffic, Freedom Fox, taking runway 26, be straight out westbound instead. On my soul, sing my soul, you've been rescued by the king. On my soul, sing my soul. All right, so I'm just sitting up here, 10-5, autopilot on heading. Once I get over the hill to Auburn, I think I might radio for VFR flight following. And for those that don't know, flight following is basically talking to ATC while you're on a VFR visual flight rules uh, flight. Basically, ATC will just help make sure that we can divert, get around uh, you know, any of the heavies that are flying in and out of that airspace, as well as just keeping VFR traffic separated. So, but anyway. I'm not really sure what to expect of this Archer thing. You know, I looked into Archer a bit, learned a little bit more about their history, and it seems like they are like the real deal. So I'm pretty excited. But I will say a lot of what they're gonna show me today is still embargoed until the launch on the 10th. So there's probably a bunch of stuff that I'm gonna be able to see and film that I won't be able to release until after their launch event. So make sure you're following along. I will be going down to their launch event as well as making a video of that and this whole thing coming together and kind of giving you guys my take on uh, what I think of this thing and answer the big question, how far out are we from actually seeing people flying in these things? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and reach out to NorCal Approach and request flight following. The only reason, I'm just going into pretty crowded airspace. Right now, it's actually surprisingly calm and quiet, but I don't know, I figure it's good practice. I honestly, in my entire flying career since I got my license, I think I might have requested flight following once, but I'm might have only done that when I was doing my training. So it's been five or six years and you guys know I'm a little rambly on the radio, not so great at it. So if by any chance the controller that I'm about to talk to is watching this, I apologize in advance for not being good <laughs> and concise on the radio, but uh, let's go ahead and go for it. NorCal Approach, Experimental 318 Juliet, Juliet. November 318 Juliet, Juliet, NorCal Approach, uh, same position request. Yeah, good morning, NorCal, 318 Julia, Julia. We're just over Auburn, 6,500. Uh, I'd like to request VFR flight following into Palo Alto, Papa Alpha Oscar. What was your type again? I'm an experimental Kit Fox. November 8, Julia, Julia, Squawk 5315. 5315, 8 Julia, Julia. November 8, Julia, Julia, radar contact, four to the southeast of the Auburn airport. Sacramento altimeter 3011, verify your altitude. 3011, I'm showing 6,500. Right okay, so that wasn't all that November bad. Number 8, Juliet, Juliet, contact approach, 127.4. 127.4, 8, Juliet, Juliet. Approach, 318, Juliet, Juliet, with you, 6,500. 318, Juliet, Juliet, North Carolina approach, Roger. I think that's what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> All right, we got a bit of a problem. I can see uh, fog on the horizon, and I just double checked, and Palo Alto is socked in and IFR. And it figures because I timed my departure to get me there perfectly in time for my meeting with these guys, so now I'm gonna have to, I guess, find an alternate route. I think I'm gonna go over to Livermore, see if I can either jump in an Uber or rent a car. Did you decide to go to Livermore? Yeah, I'd like to go ahead and switch to Livermore. Good morning, Julia, Julia. Roger, it is Alpha Stern there. Advise the tower when you have it. Radar services terminated. Keep the code in contact. Livermore Tower 118.1. I will keep my code and contact Livermore Tower. Thanks so much. Livermore Tower information Alpha 1453 Zulu. Wind 2504. Visibility 10. Sky clear. Temperature 12. 2.8. Altimeter 3014. Visual approaches in use. Landing and departing runways 25 right and 25 left. 
Bird advisory is in effect. Advise on initial contact, you have information alpha. Livermore Tower, Experimental 318 Juliet, Juliet. Experimental 318 Juliet, Juliet, Livermore Tower. Yeah, good morning, Livermore. Uh, 16 miles to the north, showing 5,500 descending inbound with Alpha. Experimental 318 Juliet, Juliet, Livermore Tower, I didn't. Remember 8 Juliet, Juliet, I didn't observe. Enter right base, runway 25 right. Right base for 25 right, 8 Juliet, Juliet. Okay, this is getting uh, a little hectic, and also it kind of is screwing me a little bit on my plans today. So what we're going to have to do is I'm going to land at Livermore and figure out if I can either get an Uber or a rental car. Um, and I'm leaving myself based on Google Maps with like zero time to do that. And hopefully the guys at Archer will understand. Well, now I am waiting for my Uber who is currently five minutes out and I guess this is not the way that I plan to get there But you know what they say time to spare go by air This is one of those rare times that I wish I did have an instrument rating and an instrument panel in the kit Fox because a marine layer I mean that's not icing and just popping through that I could have totally gotten into Palo Alto But I don't have that so here I am taking an Uber All right, finally made it to Palo Alto, and of course, in that amount of time that it took for me to land, get tied down, get an Uber, and get over here, the marine layer burned off, and the planes are just idling behind me. We're right at the airport, so it is too bad that I wasn't able to get in. But anyway, we made it. Let's uh. Let's see what this Archer place is about. Oh, wow, my uh, my mind is racing after that one, and I'm, uh, it's hard because obviously there's stuff that they showed me and told me that I'm not allowed to share with you guys until after the launch event next week, but what I can tell you is I'm super impressed. So the aircraft they just showed me, I was the first person to get to see outside of the company, so that was pretty cool, but Basically, the purpose of this aircraft is to use as a demonstration for the FAA to understand these new technologies and get on board so that they can develop the next aircraft, which would be the target one that they plan to certify in 2024. So realistically, this prototype air aircraft is going to be flying sometime later this year, but that one will be just done unmanned to demonstrate all their technologies and safeties and redundancies and all that. Then they go into the development of their larger aircraft, which will be able to carry, their, they're targeting uh, a, at least, I think, two or four passengers. Basically, what really intrigued me about this company as a whole is their approach and this ideology of these micro explorations, which essentially is what I do. When they're saying that so many people are confined into their, their worlds and to even from where we are now to go mountain biking is an hour and a half drive. But if you could jump in something like their aircraft, you could be there in like 20 minutes. So the idea is for people to be able to go on these micro adventures or micro expeditions just outside of where they are. Basically you're fast tracked to get out and away. And then they also are focusing on the, the user or the passenger experience that almost parallels identical to what I love about flying. The kind of low in and around the terrain with incredible visibility around the aircraft and just this this whole different romantic approach to flying that I appreciate. I'm really hoping I get invited out to see some of these test flights once they get cleared by the FAA to do the test flights with this aircraft. But for now, I guess we will wait and see what comes of this unveiling event. So I'm gonna go ahead and call an Uber and get back to the Livermore Airport. Let's go see how bumpy of a ride home I've got in store. All right, back at the Livermore Airport. Man, I'm having a rough run. When the Uber got there, I picked up my backpack, knocked over my camera, it landed on the mic jack and jammed in there and now my camera won't turn on. So I switched to my backup camera, but that's a bummer. It was a, wrecked my camera. Anyway, let's get locked and loaded. Reno's already blown 20 knots, so could be a little spicy. Experimental 3182, Juliet, Livermore Tower, runway 25, right at Charlie. Clear for takeoff, but cost on the flight change approved. Maybe I, maybe I changed. Maybe I'm pushing up. I no 
longer belong. Hi right, guys, welcome back safe and sound in the hangar. You know that flight was not as bad as I expected. It was a little bumpy and definitely pretty breezy for my landing here, but overall, no complaints. But honestly, my mind is still just like totally racing over this whole Archer thing, and I wish I could have shared more of it with you guys, but obviously until the launch event on June 10th, which I'm going to, which I will make a video about, I can't show any of the stuff. So you guys will have to stay tuned. In the meantime, make sure to go give Archer a follow. I'll put a link to their socials down below so you guys can stay up to speed on that. Thank you again, Archer, for hosting me on this one. And you guys know the drill. Like this video if you do. Subscribe if you haven't. Come be my wingman. See you on the next one. Peace. Maybe I, maybe I change. Maybe I'm pushing the